Hey everybody, meteorologist Jeremy Kappel with you again on this Saturday evening. Unfortunately, I'm cutting in a little bit more than I would like to this evening, but this is a serious cut in. Let's get the word out right now that there's a tornado warning in effect for Madison, Indiana, Jefferson County, Indiana, the city of Madison. You need to be in your safe place now. Rotation, very evident. North side of Madison, this is going to make its way towards the northeast. The conditions are there where we've got some low level spin and we've got vigorous thunderstorms and sometimes that's all it takes to produce a uh, tornadic rotation. Circulation very close to you. You make your way along Indiana 129. You need to get off that road. Get away from it because that's where that storm is moving. You can see that hot spot right on top of the city of Madison, Indiana, where there's just a tremendous amount of lightning associated with that. Now we go further south for Louisville. You too are underneath a warning, but this is just a severe thunderstorm warning for the city of Louisville. Since this is Bedford. This is Trimble County here. Carrollton, they issued a severe thunderstorm warning for you, but you're on the fringe. That warned area to the north, it's going to race up in this direction. So that whole threat area moving rather quickly. You don't really have a lot of time. Effective shear of 90 miles per hour. That's how fast that thunderstorm is rotating on top of you for central and eastern sections of Jefferson County. That's why we're not messing around. That's why we're taking our shelter. We're getting the word out to our friends that may be in that area here as we speak. I've already posted it to my Facebook, to my Twitter. Find me if you don't already. That information is out there. Take shelter now. And what's happening is that we've got this gust front. Uh, it's a front of some rain cooled air that's rushing out ahead of this broken line of thunderstorms. On the northern end of this front, we're getting some interaction with some storms from earlier. That's causing some turning in the atmosphere. And now that we have a strong updraft, that's interacting with that turning. Well, the result is that tornado warning. It looks like it was strongest right here, and that very well may have made a touchdown. If you live in this area where that storm has already passed you, if you live up here in Madison or Hanover, I want you to send me a message on Twitter, send me a message on Facebook. That warning does continue for Louisville. You can see they expanded the warning up there just outside of our viewing area. So that's a good sign for them that they're going to go ahead with a severe thunderstorm warning. So maybe uh, it is a weakening a bit. As I'm seeing on radar, I think that's what the folks at the National Weather Service are also seeing. The threat overall is diminishing from west to east across the area. They have allowed the tornado warning to expire. And as of right now, I don't see any reason to, to continue to stay on your airwaves. With that being said, I'm going to release you back Back over to programming again if you want further information you can find me on Facebook Jeremy Kappel WDRB in fact I have a live video going right now I'll continue with that video come on over and then also on Twitter that's Jeremy Kappel Kappel with the K you guys have a great Saturday evening I'm hoping this is the last cut in of the evening but if we need to get back on the air you know we will stay tuned to WDRB weather for the very latest